Oh boy, get ready folks, because Lady Gaga has decided to grace us mere mortals with a little red carpet romance at the UK premiere of Joker, Folie à deux. Yes, you heard that right. Mother Monster herself, looking like she's about to simultaneously star in Harley Quinn and win the Hunger Games, showed up with her fiancé, Michael Polanski. Who's that, you ask? Don't worry, no one knows either. And wow, were they dressed to impress, folks? Gaga stepped out in what can only be described as a red blob of fabric with a sleeve attached, courtesy of Celine. I guess this season's theme was high fashion or Halloween costume. And just to really cement her Joker vibes, she went ahead and did some clown makeup, blue eyeshadow with a single tear. Because nothing says, I'm in a good place now, like a smudge of sadness drawn on your face. Iconic, right? Now let's not forget about Polanski. This man, oh, he was killing it in his I just got hired at the bank black suit. Very polished, very safe, very... Not stealing any attention away from Lady Gaga, of course. He had a black tie. Silk jacquard. Fancy, huh? At one point, they kissed in front of the cameras. Because, well, what's a red carpet without a little look at us? We're in love. PDA, right? But wait, it gets even better. Gaga spilled all the tea to Vogue earlier this month. She talks about how she and Polanski fell in love during the good old pandemic. Ah, yes. Nothing quite like falling in love while the world is burning and you're stuck indoors hoarding toilet paper. So romantic. She says, and I quote, I had never met anyone like Michael. Ah, uh, probably because most people wouldn't voluntarily date a global superstar known for her meat dresses and poker faces. But hey, go off, Gaga. Apparently, he's super private and definitely not with her for, like, any superficial reasons. Nope, it's all pure, deep, true love. They're, like, so perfect for each other. And then she goes on to remind us how bad things were during her Chromatica days. You know, the album where she basically screamed, I'm in pain, through synth beats. Well, Michael, bless his heart, just swooped in and saw her pain. He held her hand through it all, got to know her on a deep level, or whatever. So naturally, they're planning to make it official in spring 2024. I mean, if surviving a pandemic together doesn't scream marriage material, what does? But hey, good for her. She's happy, healthy, and not covered in any metaphorical or actual meat this time around. Honestly, we just love a celebrity redemption arc, don't we? Anyway, that's it for today's celebrity romance update that none of us asked for. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel personally victimized by red carpet PDA. Subscribe for more unnecessarily dramatic coverage on famous people doing normal things. Stay sassy, follity fam. Catch you next time.